Drainage is the removal of excessive water from the soil profile. One can live without water for a few days. Underwater, we would drown in a few minutes. The plant is very similar. It cannot live for very long in waterlogged soil, so we use drainage to lower the water table in the soil and to make sure that the roots get enough oxygen. The first step is to bring in a drainage expert to undertake a field inspection. This inspection can be done when the soil is at its driest. The soil will tell you if it's been waterlogged in the past. Lack of roots, rust in the soil, layering, white soil caused by leaching and other pointers will tell the drainage expert if the soil has been waterlogged in the past. He will look at the topography of the land, the depth of the water table, the soil structure and other limiting factors. He will decide where the water is coming from that is causing the high water table. Is there an overflowing river or a leaking dam or canal nearby? Once the source of the water causing the problem is found, work can begin to plan the drainage system. The type of fruit that is to be planted is taken into account because some are more prone to wet feet than others. A pear can take more water than a peach in most cases. Next, determine what is going to be the most effective drainage system at the lowest cost. If the water is coming from another source, such as a nearby river, a cutoff drain should be installed to prevent that water from coming into the land. A cutoff drain could be an open drain or it could be a pipe in the ground surrounded by stone. If the wet area is localized, drainage pipes can be put into the wet areas to drain the water from only those areas. If the problem is widespread, there are two main drainage systems used, the gridiron system and the herringbone system. With the gridiron system, the sublateral pipes join at a 90 degree angle. The herringbone is similar, except that the sublaterals normally join at an angle that suits the topography. A mechanical excavator is the most efficient way to dig the trench. This is done when the soil is dry, but still moist to prevent the sides from falling in. If the soil is wet, the trench will fill with water making the job almost impossible. Digging begins downstream at the outlet, which is the lowest point of the drain. The trench is kept as narrow as possible to keep costs down. The trench is dug to the exact depth and no deeper. The depth of the drainage is determined by the type of plant that is going to be established and the depth of the soil. For most deciduous fruit, Drainage pipes are placed up to one meter in depth. The effective root area of a peach or apple tree is not deeper than about 60 or 70 centimeters. It doesn't help to place drainage any deeper than the effective depth of the roots. If you go into rock at 60 centimeters, going below 60 centimeters is not going to help you much. If the clay layer is at 60 centimeters, it will restrict the drainage to that depth. Drainage is never installed below the clay layer, so the various soil types, whether clay or sand, will also determine the depth of the drainage. It is always best to prevent the water entering the orchard by installing cutoff drains. It's very important that the drainage flows downward towards the outlet that the water will flow into, whether that's a ditch at the side of the orchard or a river. That will also have an influence on the depth of the pipes, because often your takeoff point cannot be lower than, say, 60 centimeters. So that will also determine how deep your drainage should be. The spacing between drainage pipes depends on the soil condition. Coarse fragments in the soil will cause good natural drainage. Soil that consists of fine particles will drain more slowly and pipes will be placed closer together. The deeper the drainage system, the further apart the pipes can be placed. Perforated PVC pipes of either 75 or 100 millimeters in diameter are used these days. A stone box, usually 300 by 300 millimeters in width, is used as a form to place stone in. 
A layer of concrete stone is placed around. Inspection pits create a silt trap. They catch all solids that get into the drainage pipes and these solids must be removed at least once a year. Drainage improves the oxygen content and the bacterial activity in the soil, which is very important. It also assists nutrient uptake by the plant. It reduces the risk of disease and also reduces the risk of soil compaction. Most importantly, it will affect the size and quality of the crop. A farmer has a much better chance of establishing a successful orchard in well-drained soil. Deciduous fruit trees will always struggle in badly drained soil. Put drainage in when the soil is prepared for a new orchard and many of those problems will disappear.